Hey guys, as you can tell by the title, this is my, my my let's play, but as you can tell by the world, this is a different world. Yes, I did install another mod that required me to load a different world because I had already loaded too much in the other one and I wanted there to be as many chances for this as possible. And I still have all of the other mods that I had before, but I have one more mod. And this mod is amazing. It is called the Mo Better Dungeons mod. Now, my friend here will explain to you what it is, what it does, and what it generates, and each of the different types of dungeons that you can that you can get, and where they will spawn. Ready? Set? Yep. Go. Okay. So I'm looking at the forum. So I'm just gonna go down the list, I guess. So, there are volcanoes, which spawn in the plains, or, actually, I think they can spawn anywhere, but they are filled... No, you said they spawned in the, in the mountain biomes. Oh, well, I'm looking at a picture of one, and it's actually in the plains. Oh, okay. So, I don't well, know. Well, they probably config the config file. Hmm. Anyway, they have lava coming out of them, and they're covered in ores, redstone, and diamonds, and coal, and iron, and gold. Um, that's it for that one. And then siege castles. Look for them in plains. And they are basically the, supposedly the easiest of all of them. And I can actually say that yes, they are the easiest because uh, I have tried this mod using the technique launcher and I actually even with my really bad lag that I have I've actually defeated a siege castle so they are he has cool. really bad lag he gets yeah. an average of five frames per second yep which is strange since I can have an HD texture pack which I discovered recently not just an HD texture pack a 128 by freaking 128 yeah, at 10 FPS on average. So, yeah, weird. You don't make no um, sense, computer. And then one of my favorite ones. I expect there there is pirate ships in that spawn in the middle of the ocean. I saw one of those. They are weak. They suck. But they had like three bosses on them. So you actually didn't see one because you saw one of the small ones. Uh, a lot bigger. Okay. And then, and sometimes they spawn in the side of a mountain with vines across them. So, like a wrecked ship. Those are really hard because I found one and I, I barely walked up and I got down to half of my health with just the one guy that was there. <laughs> so those you're going to probably need diamonds and stuff. And then... Which my methods for finding diamonds are amazing, as you can tell on the server. Yeah. And go check that video out, because it's a pretty good video. Well, I don't know which video is going to be up or not. Or which which video is going to be up first. Because you never even... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I haven't rendered well, that one yet. I will render this one... I'll render that one before, and probably upload it while I'm rendering this one, so, you know... It will probably be up. And I found a desert dungeon, I think. No, I didn't. Never mind. And then there are strongholds, which are kind of like the strongholds in vanilla, but not really. They have entrances up top in taiga biomes. And then you go underground, and it's like this maze of several different... Uh, uh, Rooms. Those ones are pretty have, cool. I saw it. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, they all have they all have spawners and chests and everything, and they are really definitely worth getting because the stuff in the chests. Oh are geez, there were like five diamonds, um, a diamond block, like ten go um gold ingots and iron ingots. Oh my god, it was, it was so good. And then there's swamp caves, which. I'm not sure if you're going to want to go into them because they are ex 
extremely, extremely hard and parkourish and. And that's what she said. Crazy. Yes, that is. Uh. I I would like to point out that I'm the one who turned him like that. That's nice. And this then, is weird. In the Nether, which I really like how they even changed the Nether. There's Nether City, so it's not just the. Um, Oh, what are those called? Fortresses. Yes. It's not just fortresses, there's also now cities. And they have chests in them and enchantment tables on the roofs. But they have just as many monsters. Haven't seen those yet, but I'm assuming they're pretty cool. They are. And then there's desert pyramids, which is what we were messing around with, messing with before we... We messed with uh, the config file to see if recording. we could uh, make them more common. Because we were uh, looking around in a world and we could not find anything for some reason. Anything! Like, literally, I was looking around for like 10 minutes. Just like flying around as fa at top speed and I could not find anything. The only thing that we found was this really weird glitchy looking mine shaft. Which is actually part of the mod, so... Which is really weird. So maybe you'll find one of those. Hopefully. Um, oh. I'm pretty sure you're forgetting one, aren't you? Oh, the, um... Oh, I'm no, just no, going no. through them. Oh. I'm just going through them, so... I, I'm just uh, still learning part of this mod, actually, so... I'm, I'm looking through. So, it says, look for this in... Look for this caves in wet biomes to find the slime boss. And there's a whole bunch of slimes in a cave, I guess. And I'm not sure because this person was using this really weird texture pack. That, uh, that's a really weird dog. One sec. I mean, look at this. And nether holes. Holy crap. He has like a flat tail and he's like elongated. Wait, no, never mind. My eyes are just derping. Nether holes, you will see red sky also removed bedrock from top. What? Okay, I don't know. I guess maybe in the nether. Just like I'm guessing in the nether. Yeah. There are like holes in the nether that go up. Hmm. Hmm, maybe. Uh default dungeon. In the download version dungeons will be at layers eighteen to sixty. This was just for testing. Oh, okay. Oh, Looks like weird. we found one. I think I found one. The no, oh, yeah. never mind. That's just a really tall tree. I thought I found the tree one. Oh, jeez. What? Um. So this default dungeon is a test, and it raises the dungeon above ground, and then they have a picture of a big one, and it is absolutely enormous. That's what she said. Yep, I totally set you up there. I see that. Um, nether dungeons. Oh, that's cool. So I guess it also adds things kind of like the fortresses, but not really. Hmm. hmm. That's cool. Interessante. And a list of mobs. Human-like mobs. Human mobs, they look like, they look human-like to type depending and buying them. There are three classes, armored, archer, and special unit. Depending on the biome, dungeons will be filled with these mobs, and sometimes weak armored mobs will patrol their biome. Huh. So I guess there might be random mobs just walking around. Planes. Yeah, like that scouts. horse that I saw. Well, it's not really a mob. It's a horse, bro. Whatever. It's an NPC. Yeah, that's another thing. That's another thing that this mod adds is it adds rideable, trainable horses, and they run really quickly. I don't know if you got to that part of the video, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, they're amazing. You don't like you like you don't have to jump to go over uh, hills, and they run way faster than you do. They're they're really cool. And I think all you need is just a saddle. Like you would use for a pig, except... I am derping right now. 
I'm not I, sure. I tried to make stone sticks, and then I tried to make sticks out of the weight regular wooden logs. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, it must have been those shrooms that I was collecting earlier. Oh. Jeez. Um, that's embarrassing, bro. Uh. Okay. Yeah, we were we were playing on the survival game server a while ago and no i was collecting I shrooms i was collecting shrooms earlier this video i have 11. oh well that too i guess but anyway we were on the survival game server and he was surviving obviously because it's a survival game <laughs> and he ended up getting a bowl somehow i think he said someone fell from the sky or something it was like, um, I don't know, either, either they suffocated, because I was, like, just climbing up this water ladder, and then all I saw was an explosion of items and a thunderbolt that exploded down right on top of me, and then, um, I got a, a couple XP in all of his items, and I'm just like, um, 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 <laughs> climb down, climb down, go, no, no, down, <laughs> and so I was kind of scared for a second. This would lead to a cave. Oh. Huh. And then in the taiga, there's zombies. In the ocean, pirates, obviously. Uh, in swamps, there's goblins. Oh, yeah, that's the really weird swamp things that you'd have to parkour. That I wouldn't suggest going in at all, ever, because they're crazy and weird. And then mountains, dwarves, okay, ice plains, huh. Anyway, this will be it for this episode because it's turning night and I want these to be 15 minutes long. So he will finish explaining in the next episode and hopefully you guys will stick around that long because we're not that actually entertaining. But... If you do stick around, good job. Good job, and then we applaud you. And I have pie. Oh my no! Just no. <laughs> do not start that again. No. Uh, I will kill you if you start that again. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> J no. <laughs> so anyway outro screen um black